gamers and moviegoers. What's going on, guys? I'm the Messiah, and this is Messiah Entertainment. Now, this week, in light of Terminator Genesis coming out, I'm a huge fan of the Terminator franchise. I want to know, is John Connor really all that important? Now, if you're watching this video, I assume you know about the Terminator storyline. I mean, we know the events of Genesis going to be messing around with the original timeline a bit. However, was it always a constant loop like this? Was John Connor always a factor in this story? I don't think so. I think if you go far back enough through the various timelines, you'll eventually find an origin point, an original timeline unaltered by time travel. Kyle Reese would never have been sent back yet because there would be no previous time for him to come from. Sarah would have continued being a waitress at college. It would probably take longer to develop Skynet in this world without the Terminator on. But still, some would assume that without John Connor and his leadership, the humans would eventually be obliterated. But is that true? Can the humans survive without John Connor? I think so. I believe that the humans were beating the machines even without their beloved leader. It's the only explanation as to why a time travel device was even created despite the absence of John Connor. The machines were losing regardless and needed to look towards other means of winning. Skynet only created TDE as a way to change the past since they were losing ground to the humans. And I highly doubt the resistance had the time or resources to make the equipment on their own. The only explanation is that in the original timeline, there was another individual, not John Connor, who successfully led the resistance to victory, causing Skynet to look for other options to win the war. Like in this timeline, Skynet would send Terminator after this mystery hero instead of the Connors, and Kyle Reese would be sent back to protect him or her, or their parents. Now you're probably saying, well, Messiah, if that was the case, then wouldn't the Terminator franchise follow this guy instead of John Connor and his family? No. The reason for that is because in this timeline, I think Kyle Reese fails. The Terminator succeeds in terminating his target, the mystery hero himself or his ancestors. Kyle Reese, stuck in the past, has no choice but to live out his life while waiting for the inevitable. I believe he has a chance encounter with Sarah Connor, like at a diner or something. The two fall in love, have a child, John Connor. Kyle grooms him to be a soldier and unwittingly the next leader of the resistance and thus the loop as we know it begins. John Connor becomes the new leader of the Resistance, and that old mystery hero is totally forgotten about. Or he's still there and playing second fiddle to whatever John Connor's doing. But what do you guys think? You guys believe in my theory? Or am I just totally out of my mind? I'm taking it way too far. I just need to stop thinking about it, sit down in the theater, and enjoy the movie. Let me know in the comment section. I'm the Messiah. This is Messiah Entertainment. I'll see you guys next time.